My name is Melvin Norrington. I work in our corporate compliance department right out of high school. Um, really didn't think I was going to go into the armed force, talk to a recruiter. And um, the more they talked to me, the more it kind of piqued my interest. So where I was stationed was um, Fort Spiker, they called it. So it was an old Iraqi Air Force base. And um, so basically we just ran off generators and things like that. We lived in old abandoned homes. You know, our generators weren't always reliable. There were times it's 115 degrees out and the generator's down, mechanics are trying to work on it. And you're sitting there in a sweat box. Iraq for me was a truly reality check to how fortunate and how blessed we are here back at home, no matter what we're going through. Uh, my name is Fernando Porce and my current position is a reliability engineering analyst. I was in the uh, Army, Army National Guard here in Topeka, Kansas with the uh, 108 uh, Air Assault Unit. <clears throat> we up in the Ford Operating Base and uh, we, yeah, you know, it was a small base but it had a, an airstrip there to get supplies um, along the Pakistani border and, uh, you know, diesel generators was the only power supply we had in that area just because it was uh, remote where it was at in nature. Um, you know, and, and when we had power outages uh, due to, to uh, the down generators, um, it was definitely felt across the, uh, the base and everybody, everybody was trying to get that back up. So we continue to move forward and continue to support those uh, out there uh, further downrange. Um, my name is Quentin Gross. I'm the STARS Alliance Management Council rep for Wolf Creek. Uh, I went into the Navy in 1994 directly out of high school. I uh, spent two years in training, five years on the USS Wyoming ballistic missile sub out of Kings Bay, Georgia. And then my remaining three years were nuke repair at Kings Bay. I, I didn't fight because I hated what was in front of me. It was because of what I left behind me. So for me, that truly is what a veteran is. It's somebody who's willing to put any, any and all things above their own. Being a veteran now and being older, um, you, you appreciate it a whole lot more. If you know a veteran, I think you should take time to go out there and recognize them, thank them, appreciate them. That's what it means to me. You know, Veterans Day to me um, brings a lot um, <clears throat> for, for myself and then for my past, you know, for my family, for my father being a Vietnam vet, and to myself and the Operation Enduring Freedom um, after 9-11. So the, the, the brotherhood of the people I've stood with, um, this will always have a place in my heart. Well, from a Veterans Day standpoint, you know, I don't know if it really meant as much to me then as it does now, because without actually being there, hearing people's stories and going through some things, you don't understand some of the things that people went through to do that. So to me, it's an important day because it makes me reflect on my history, my friends, the people I've met throughout the years that I never would have met without being in the armed forces. I remember that, I remember getting on the plane for that last time as we were going to fly to Kuwait and I'm making those phone calls, I'm calling my mom, I'm saying, I love you, mom. I, I call on my dad and saying, I love you. And it hit me like, this may be the last time I truly speak to my parents. I, I don't know if I'm coming back home. You know, with, with the power that we, you know, and electricity we take for granted sometimes um, that we have on a, you know, a luxury of a day-to-day -day basis, but to, to think back the times when uh, away from that, you know, in remote areas, just to see what that meant to bring power to people, um, to have that, and then when they did have that, you know, how much more it brought to their life. Powering your switch, to charging your phone, to whatever it may be, your TV, um, definitely um, feels good to be part of a company that continuously brings reliable energy uh, every day to our customers and, and to our companies, our industries around here to continue to grow. You know, you talked about power reliability, but I've been on shore trying to work on work on the sub prior to taking it out for its deployment, and we lose all shore power. We got everything torn apart that would be a backup for us. And you're literally trying to mitigate and get power back with flashlights in a really dark enclosed space. Now you compare that to nowadays, right now your biggest complaint other than heat and TV is you can't charge your phone. And it's a big difference compared to what people go through or have been where they take that for granted. I'm gonna say one of the biggest things I really love about Evergy and being able to be a part of that family is, it's not just about the providing that service that, that is, but it's ultimately just helping our customers. Part of that is that reliable uh, power, but the other part is, to me, it goes right back to the military. Like I said, to, to fight, protect, and ultimately help people.